today we're just going to be doing a little project with this uh, multimedia paper here that I got from Hobbycraft um, and I will be using some paints that I actually found in Primark um, from my last haul that I had so as you can see I've got these um, five colors here green purple gold a bronze color and a silver color so we're just going to try them out and just see how they are they were one pound each so I just want to see what the quality would be like and what kind of um, patterning what kind of usage we could get so they seem to be coming out really nicely um, I said for the gold it was a bit watery for my liking but we're going to give it a go we're going to see what we can do with it so there we go those are all the colors they look really good they're metallic I forgot to say actually <laughs> they're metallic So I've also got this paint palette that I bought from Hobbycraft. It's about £7.50, but you can catch it on a half price. So it's normally about £3.50 £3 or around about that price. And they're actually quite good um, for the price. They're really brightly coloured and I enjoy using them. So I'm just going to take a page out of this book and um, cut it down just so that I've got a smaller work area to play with and yeah we're just gonna see what my imagination can come up with so here's here I am just folding it in half I'm just gonna cut this jagged piece off with my we are memory keepers um, cutting board I actually love this board cutting and scoreboard to be honest sometimes it doesn't always measure up squarely but yeah I enjoy using it so I'm just painting here from my imagination so yeah just bear with me get some bright yellow going on there it was quite a sunny day actually when I was doing this so I think this is what um, influenced my my um, picture so I was trying to get an ombre effect going so I'm just adding some more yellow to the top to make it more defined that area one little fact this little crystal um, well it's not really crystal glass bowl that I'm using for the water I actually bought in the car boot and I really liked the look of it it was beautiful the way it looked so I thought yeah I'd like that on my craft table so I am attempting to draw a tree or to paint a tree so please don't laugh at my efforts but yep yeah, there's my tree I actually saw this technique done on um on YouTube where they use um, cotton buds or what do you call them sort of like cotton swabs you might call them um, to do an effect so that's what I'm attempting to do now just getting some grass action going on here these colors are really easy to use these watercolors from Hobbycraft So just adding in some darker paint just to give it a bit more definition because it was looking a bit flat I'm just adding actually actually some burgundy into it
So now I'm taking the cotton um, buds, cotton swabs. I'm just using some of this washi tape, some of this very washi tape, just to hold them together in a pattern. So I've chosen to do three. And we're just going to see what kind of effect we can get with these paints. So I've decided to use two colours. So I'm just blending them in the middle pot there. And I'm going to go and put them on the paper in um, sort of like stippling or dotting. And to see what kind of effect we can get now. I'm trying it on another piece of card to see if the two colours are blending well. And then I'll be putting it onto my picture. So the first thing I noticed was that it actually wasn't coming off the cotton, the cotton buds as, as I as well as I thought. That actually it's kind of like a gel type paint, more than um, a paint that you would probably be be used to from a squeezy tube. Um, first of all, I was thought I was doing something wrong, so I was trying to put more of the paint on, but it just wasn't sticking to the paper like I would have thought. As you can see, it's not actually sticking to the paper like. I would expect um, an acrylic paint to. So I'm just trying again to just see if I can get more of the paint off. And now I'm going to see if I can use a paintbrush to actually get some of the paint onto the tree to make the blossoms um because yeah it wasn't it just wasn't sticking to the paper i don't know if it was something that i was doing or yeah it just wasn't sticking to the paper so i'll just continued anyway and just see what you know the outcome because as you know sometimes when you're creating something it starts it might not start off well but by the, the end of it you have a look at it and you think actually it turned out quite well so i thought i'd keep on going and just seeing what kind of effect i would get in the end So there we go that's the end result it wasn't what I expected but um, yeah it, it kind of gave it a good but I thought it would be a stronger color outcome so I did try again sorry guys what actually happened me painting this picture my video had cut off until I'd got to this point and I realized that it wasn't recording so I started off with the same kind of um, faded background but just with pink and then I used um, the gel colours in the background to create the flower. And again, it wasn't, even with a paintbrush, it just wasn't sticking to the paper. So um, I was just using the watercolours to kind of create my own flower. And in the end, I think it actually turned out quite good. But to be honest, I'm not really so far impressed with these... Um, acrylic metallic paints they just don't seem to stick to the paper um probably i'll give it another go at another time but yeah i just wasn't really impressed with them so anyway guys thank you for watching thank you for my little review of these paints from poundland and i'll see you in the next video bye